All right, so Hellripper is a Scotland-based black thrash metal act. Uh, a lot of bands will come to mind, something like uh, Midnight. You might also get Aura Noir, um, The Crown, uh, even a little bit of Destroyer 666 here or there. Um, fairly derivative act, but one with a lot of energy and a lot of potential. That needs to be stated right here and there. Um, so, well, where does that leave the group uh, coming up with a fresh debut, a couple compilations and some EP splits? Uh, well, that's what we're going to get into. So I'm getting straight into this shit, the absolute garbage of the album. Get let's, some! Let's just hammer it home Fuck first. It. It's really derivative. As David just mentioned, it's fairly derivative. There's a riff on there that sounds exactly like Hit the Lights from Kill 'Em All. It is Hit the Lights. It's it's almost identical, note for note, Hit the Lights. And there are a lot of riffs throughout the album that just remind me of the first two or three Metallica albums. Oh, definitely. And basically, it's Metallica smashed together with Toxic Holocaust, in my opinion. Yeah, and a little bit of Venom in there. A little bit of Venom, maybe some Motorhead. Pretty much just... Put all those bands in a blender and you have this band. It's really nothing new going on here, but what's going on is it's solid. It is solid. While the CD is extremely solid, um, I think it does need mention that a lot of these tracks, while they are incredibly well written, uh, there's a lot of really excellent uh, riff work going on here, a lot of uh, excellent composition from front to back. Um, I would like to see a little bit more in the way of... Uh, uh, extrapolating, kind of bringing out some of the better elements of these compositions, kind of doing more with uh, what's already there. We've only got 26 minutes in length, and while I do think the solos are, are really excellent, they're really, uh, really intricate and, and very well played, I do feel like you could really bring these out to a longer length and, and really play up the epic scale and scope of some of these tracks. Uh, there's really a lot going on. The, it's the general hell affair. It's it's very Satan uh, in all aspects, but you really feel like the way that he kind of goes about it uh, in the grander scheme of things, maybe this would really be to the album's benefit. Um, and in a lot of ways, I feel like there could be a little bit more variety in the way that he plays some of these tracks out. Uh, but who knows what he'll do in the future to kind of uh, expand out his arsenal. I have to agree. The variety could use some work. Most of the songs sound pretty much the same as far as tempo goes, and they don't deviate much from going balls out. They basically all have intense guitar solos. And I would have liked to see a little bit more pacing, you know? It's it's a blackened thrash metal album, but a slower song here or there might help break it up. I mean, the album's only 20, 26 minutes long, so it never devolves into just, oh, I've had enough of this shit. This right. is way too long. But it does need to be broken up a bit with maybe a mid pace track or two. Right, even Toxic Holocaust brings it down to a crawl sometimes. Midnight will add some black and roll here and there. Uh, Destroyer 666 will come out with these huge fucking giant orchestral pieces. Uh, just something to break up the monotony would really help here. Agreed. Finally, I, I do feel like the finale track here, the title track, Coagulating Darkness, uh, just doesn't seem to hit the mark. Uh, it is a solid track and it has some really excellent black metal leads, uh, but it just doesn't do enough to uh, really emphasize what's going on with the CD, kind of uh, bring everything to a grinding halt and kind of punch you in the face. Uh, I feel like with the title track, it really should be a summary of everything that kind of surrounds it, and this also being the final track, it should also be something something really powerful, something very potent. Uh, it should really be that last slap in the face before the CD just ends. And it actually feels like one of the weakest tracks on the CD. Um, the solos on it are just kind of mundane. Uh, it just kind of ends without any real triumphant finish. Uh, it just kind of peters out, and that does kind of feel disappointing considering that most of the CD is actually very consistent from front to back. Um, and yeah, it just kind of feels like it just kind of quiets out and ends, and that's just about the end of the CD. Moving on to the pros. My biggest pro has to be the consistency of the album. It's just straight through, except the last track or two, as David was mentioning, are very solid. Track number two, Annalise, and track number three, Dem Dyke, are especially standout tracks with their intense solos, and they're just, they just have this extremely aggressive, punchy in the face atmosphere that really wants to make you jump into the pit and throw bows at everybody. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I definitely get the impression that this was made with a, a genuine understanding of the genre, uh, and the production actually really escalates that as well. Yeah, the production is absolutely excellent for coming off such a small label. I don't remember the name of the label off the top of my head, but I know they're very small. 
and they've done an excellent job. Everything is mixed well. The album has just the right amount of murk and grit to it for oh, the yeah, style definitely. of the music. The vocals are slightly quieter than everything else, which I think works to the benefit of the album. I think so. And the genre as a whole with that whole black metal feel to it. And all in all, it's excellent. I love the how loud the bass is, by the way. On this type of album, you don't see a lot of that. And the bass presence is absolutely excellent. Oh yeah, definitely. I feel like it definitely benefits from a lot of thrash elements in the production. Uh, like he was saying, the bass presence, um, a lot of the way the drums are actually produced. Uh, but you also have a lot of black metal elements that work to the benefit, too, here. Uh, you've got that really raspy, really dingy quality to the vocals. They kind of hang in the background like someone's just kind of ranting and raving over these riffs. And the actual riff production, the, the actual uh, sound of everything going on here, it actually gives it this really punchy, really just aggressive and brutal quality uh, that really works to the entire uh, product's benefit. I actually do feel like it's produced... Uh, fairly well. It's not clean and crisp, but it actually is, uh, in this very certain style, well produced, I feel like. <clears throat> and that is pretty much it, actually. Um, not a whole lot to talk about here. A fairly straightforward CD, but a solid one. A very concise one, 26 minute runtime. Uh, but front to back, I feel like, for the most part, uh, it is a very excellent CD. Uh, Eric, what do you think you would give an album like this? Well, I'll give it an 8. I think James McVeigh has done a great job here for the most part, oh, yeah. especially for a one-man band and a debut album nonetheless. Um, I hope in the future he'll be a little more creative with the riff rather than drawing from 80s thrash as consistently as he is and as blatantly as he is. But it's just so consistent, I can't really give it any less than an 8. Yeah. I think personally I'd give it a 7. Uh, I think it is a fairly remarkable debut. I think that it uh, hits that nostalgia vein just exactly where it needs to be. Uh, I feel like the production is absolutely pitch perfect for this. Uh, there's just so much going on here to its benefit. I, I can't help but really enjoy myself all the way through. It's been a great year for nostalgic acts like this. Uh, just had that Satan's Hollow CD. Uh, quite a few other acts just really doing their thing. Uh, we can just kind of add this to the top tier. Uh, a lot of good shit here. Congrats. Good job. Woo! Woo. You did it. You did it, pal.